Welcome to Fridays with Anne. This is a series of conversations with Belgian homeopath Anne Fafake about homeopathy. I will ask her curiously whatever confuses me in homeopathy, like case taking, case analysis, or theory in general. And Anne will answer according to her insights, experience, and most recent findings. You, the viewer, are invited to participate actively, so please feel free to send in comments and questions. And now today's episode of Fridays with Anne. Hello and welcome to Fridays with Anne. Hello Anne. Hello Joost. It's another lovely Friday and I'm excited to be able to speak to you. And today I want to focus on another group of remedies, uh, the insects. Okay, very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so let's start out with um, with what we have in homeopathy about the insects, please. Yes, it's not a surprise that I will say again, it's an enormous group. <laughs> of mm -hmm. There are so many insects, more insects than people, you know that. And uh, so many species. Uh, yeah. That's the thing we don't want to say, but uh, I'm sorry, it's true. Uh, mm. And the ten thousands again of species. And what do we get? That was your question. Well, we have apis, yes. the well-known representative, and we have cantaris, which is more uh, Spanish fly, more like a clinical remedy. And that's about it. I mean, we do have a few classical provings, like uh, mm -hmm. we have the mosquito uh, mm -hmm. we, have, uh, mm -hmm. we have a few um, uh, parasites, yes, like uh, the bed bug and, and, and the flea, uh, sure. but also if you read the provings, they're more or less clinical. They're not mm -hmm. extensive provings, so they're hardly ever prescribed. Yeah. So that leaves us again with um, many species and not too well-known group, but in the last decade, I must say, um, more provings were gathered, people collected the symptoms, more cases came up, and I do see them regularly. Mm -hmm. They are not rare at all. I mean, uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that makes it all the more interesting, knowing mm -hmm. that it's needed in many cases. Yeah. Um, yeah so even in the animal kingdom it's a it's a huge it's a fast group the yes. insects right yes and uh, you named i don't know five six i didn't count now but it sounds like a handful of insect remedies yes we have more but you know to to boil down the case to animal kingdom is not that difficult i think we we covered that it's it's the easiest group probably to spot Mm -hmm. Kingdom to spot, and within the kingdom, then the problem starts. But even the sub kingdom usually is not that difficult. Is it spider? No. Is it snake? No. Is it mammal? No. Then the problem starts. <laughs> what yeah. else have we? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. We have insects, and we then have like a, a vast area of sea creatures. We didn't touch that because that's like a, a bag full of different species from the very, very uh, simple um how to say primitive primitive yeah yeah two mammals and everything in between is in the sea yeah but they're going to focus on insects and insects also have actually very uh outspoken characteristics but probably most likely the first group you you will think of is spiders they have similarity with spiders so you will confuse you might confuse um Insects with spiders, you mean? Yes, they're the uh -huh. closest allies. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, for some yeah. reasons, because a lot of people think that spiders are insects, which are mm. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, yeah, this leads us to the characteristics that these insects have in common. And I'm not talking about the, about the zoological. Uh, commonalities but the homeopathic group exactly so mm. what can you tell us about that well about insects one could say in general you know they're they're more primitive like mammals you won't you won't mistake with mammals but with spiders yes why because they feel small they feel um 
uh, looked down upon, uh -huh. the abused, you know, they are mostly on this end uh, of the, on the receiving end if there's violence, not always, they can be very violent as well. Uh, but they do have a very distinct um, underlying sensation, the mm -hmm. instant, and that is the feeling of being crushed. And that's mm -hmm. only on the proof one. If that is the like the, the deepest feeling, the sensation they have, if something is difficult or something is going against their, um, their wishes in their life or their, uh -huh. some trauma, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? The end of the story is crushed. They're crushed by it. Yeah. And it, it's not hard to remember because, you know, what provokes, <laughs> what action provokes insected a lot of people, crush them, you know, they just put them, yeah. them. <laughs> isn't that strange? But the insect, it is really strange, yes. Really feels like that. And, you know, it, they might start saying it's, oh, it's heavy and, you know, I feel looked down upon, but the end thing is feeling crushed. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You might have heard in, in, in other, uh, from other sources that the feeling is, basic thing is metamorphosis yes exactly yeah yeah but i hardly ever see it in an insect i must say mm. yeah maybe in a butterfly <laughs> i don't know it would be very peculiar right to hear some patient some person express this transformation so to say but um yeah i heard that as, as well and i was now just thinking of the because i once went went to a seminar with jonathan hardy yeah uh about insects oh you did yeah mm -hmm. and metamorphosis was also one of the aspects that he mentioned and another one was uh an alien factor because if you man imagine the insects being our size then they yeah. would look really weird and strange and you can have he was saying that people with insect remedies can have dreams of aliens or of alien creatures I can imagine. It's just that I haven't seen it in patients, but it's, mm. it's possible. And I've seen cases, not mine, where the, the, the word metamorphosis was not really um, spoken, but mm -hmm. the process uh, described was a metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Maybe she even yeah. said, I think she even said the word, but that was a butterfly. But I do have some waterproof uh, pointers that I do see in many patients. So I think yeah. they're reliable. <laughs> so let's hear these first, and then we can also look at what might be um, yeah falsely associated with um, insects or what we might uh, hope to find but won't in insect cases so yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. maybe you you will find them but only maybe in particular species it's yeah. not for the whole group maybe some like i could imagine that the butterfly would be uh, you know more prone to the metamorphosis although other um, insects have it also, not all of them, a lot of them, but the general features that I hear and about, I cannot say every case, but in many cases, men and women is funnily enough concerned about their hair, hmm. hair on their, not on their body, on their head. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah isn't that strange? Hair and clothes are very important. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this can have different expressions like they do have a lot of hair but they feel they don't have enough or they are afraid they're losing it mm. and sometimes they're losing it but it can be a matter of age in that case it's not a disease like if a man yeah. is losing his hair when he's 45 it's not a disease we're not going to give a remedy for that uh, or a woman might complain yeah. that your hair and all you see is like you know at least 10 times as much hair that i have you know <laughs> You yeah. say, worried about not having enough? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so you see, there's a focus on it. It is important to have this hair, to keep this hair, to have beautiful hair, to admire hair in other people, nice hair. It's a very strange a focus, of very strange yeah. concern. They do seem to, to have. And clothes, the same. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and also an aspect that you wouldn't really associate at all with insects. Yeah. No, it's, you know, it's, we said this with snakes as well. The snakes, it, snakes in nature are not jealous. It's mm. people who need snake remedies. So insects are not concerned about their hair. They don't even have it, you know, in nature. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. 
And the clothes is also so, uh, some, uh, let's say, point of interest. Or they want to be very well dressed, or they are always meticulous about their clothes. Particular, I, do, I wear this and not that. I only wear this. Mm -hmm. color. I, it has to match. You know, I never show myself without being dressed. You know, I won't open the door in pajamas, things like that. Or, or they are, you know, a little bit, um, how would you say? Uh, there's something remarkable. There's the ten it is attention seeking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. The clothes will catch your attention. With, with the woman, it can be that it's too low, or how to say, it's open too much. Yeah. The cleavage, showing the cleavage, or, yeah. yeah. It's not that I want to seduce or anything. It's just like the dress for yeah, an evening party. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Not for consultation. You know, it's. It's a bit too much. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not because I right, exactly. Yeah. 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 So the hair and the clothes, it's very strange that this, mm -hmm. in a man, it can be more difficult to spot because mm. even if he's concerned about his clothes, it might not be visible. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. you have to share that he only wears this particular brand of pants or only this particular color of shirt. Or, you see. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm -hmm. So I like it with the birds, we said the birds, very often they have problems with the eyes, the ears, and we say the feet, yeah? right? The skeleton, mostly the feet. With the insects, almost not, not everybody, but many have problems with um, urinary tract. Mm -hmm. And either they have this um, cystitis, of yeah. course, we know of Cantaris, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> and also Apis. Uh, or they have, uh, like, we would call it a nervous bladder now. Uh -huh. I urinate frequently or burning yeah. urination always without cystitis, like a chronic kind of irritation there. Uh -huh. So this is something which is, you know, the bladder. Urinate yeah. or bladder. Fairly often cystitis. And um, uh, what is also common is uh, urticaria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's also very common. Which okay. We know of remedies like uh, apis again. Yeah, so that's not an apis feature, but it's an insect feature. Insect feature. So they have skin issues. Of course, all kingdoms can have skin issues, but yeah. you know, they can be kind of specific. Okay. And they will be itching and burning and, and uh, swollen. Yeah. And we have a one nice differential uh, diagnosis with spiders, and that is mm -hmm. usually they're warm blooded. All right. Yeah, and spiders usually are very cold blooded. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a few okay, more. That's helpful. Yeah. That's huh? helpful. Yeah. Usually we we do have a few more features. There are birds that fly, and in, and most of the insects fly. Yeah. Uh huh. We start talking about flying. Oh, most of them do. All right. Yeah, most of them do. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure the insects that don't fly. If they're really insects like worms and all that. <laughs> I mean, there, there must be a lot of bugs, beetles. Oh, yeah, yes. Beetles are. I, I, it's, oh, but, 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 yeah, it seems yeah, to sorry. be the most common species on, on Earth, the beetles, it seems. Yeah, but yeah. of course, many beetles can fly. Yeah, they do fly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course, yeah. 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 We don't think about it, and of course the no, the, exactly. the wasps and the and the bees and all that they fly and and the yeah. fly the hops Yeah, fly. they fly. Uh -huh. They fly. <laughs> they even call like that. And the mosquito and many many the the big majority flies. And I'm even not sure if the ones who don't fly are real insects. So, mm. but the flying has to be differentiated from the flying of birds. Yeah. Because while the birds fly as um, as an expression of freedom, for mm -hmm. them, it's an expression of an experience of freedom, like being high in the sky, like having this movement, this free movement. Yeah. The speed, this wind, uh, uh, flying, uh, flying through the wind, or, or this soaring and seeing everything, and you know, that's uh -huh. the birds. While yeah. The insect is like flying from away from something, and the something is flying from the low, the the dirt, the garbage, the the stench, the yeah. matter, 
sewage flying away to something higher and better. Yes, okay. Yeah. Escaping? escaping? Or is that not the right? Yeah, yeah, it's right. It's escaping, <laughs> flying away, flying from the low into the higher, flying okay. from, from the dirt into the clean. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's a different um, motivation. <laughs> you yeah. Mm -hmm. And they might talk half of your consultation about flying. Yeah. But the feeling is dirt, is stench, is decay, is um, uh, garbage. That's the real feeling they have. Uh -huh. and that's, right. that's for a lot of insects, that's where they feel at home, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's even though, happens. even the pretty butterflies. Yes, yeah. That's where you find them. When there's decay or, yeah, when there's garbage and yeah, then they find the food and, you know. So, but for in the human experience, it's something, of course, they are ashamed of, that they try to hide, that they try not to feel, that they try to get away from. And so that could be the only part they show you. Sounds deeply psychotic, also with the uh, urinary uh, troubles. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, but it also so sounds very, um, how do you say, leprosy, myasmus. Le leprosy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of the dirt and the disgust and the stench yeah. and the yeah. toilet and, and, you know, yeah, the garbage, the dirt, the filth. They might, might be, you know, um, obsessed with cleanliness as a reaction okay yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. or they um, might have a, a how to say a, a fear of infection uh -huh, yeah mm -hmm. and and wash a lot and, and be ah, yeah okay yeah. just because yeah or yeah. they might have a, a, a very strong aversion to smells uh -huh. yeah. that is something i'm I think I see it in, the, in most of the cases. There's very strong aversion to all these disgusting things. It's disgust, mm -hmm. and that's what that will make you think of leprosy, myasm, and disgust. Yeah, I yeah. see. Yeah, I see what you mean. And they're sensitive to smells, uh -huh. bad smells, and they will tell you what kind of bad smells. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so it's not like exhaust of cars in the first place it's really like the gutter toilet mm -hmm. fishes yeah rotten flesh you know <laughs> yeah mm. okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i see all right so escaping the dirt escaping the ground mm -hmm. to higher realms mm -hmm. um, and then this yeah, all, which also shows in the sensitivity to smells, which could be against all these uh, rotting smells, mm -hmm. decaying matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Is there, know, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are more things, you know, some patients, this might be so much in the background and it's not in the problem they come with. So mm -hmm. the problem they they have the symptoms they have might be something like you don't want to hear it like exhaustion. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired, for instance. Eh? Yeah, something like that. I don't sleep well. Mm. You know, it's very common things, and and they might talk about this issue because that is what is in the foreground, and the other things might be so in the background that. They won't even talk about it, but even in the foreground, they have the specifics. Like if they're tired, mostly they're tired because they overdo. They're yeah. very, very active. That's uh -huh. a bit same as with spiders. They have, yeah, they are active, but they like activity. They love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They love to be busy. Yeah? And depending okay. on the species, like the mosquito, mosquito. I've seen a few mosquito cases. They like to do a hundred things at the same time. That's what they say. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, I ha I even had a patient who said, you know, I have I do my household. She had three or four children, and she wanted to do some creative work in between. Uh -huh. You know, she was a, I think a sculpture in between, and she said, okay, I have a list, a to do list, and in the morning I have like seven minutes to clean the house, and I have. <laughs> Two minutes and twenty to make the bedding. Then I have ten minutes, and she would say ten minutes, thirty-five seconds to do the ironing. No way. Uh -huh. you ever heard that? Uh -huh. And she she liked it. 
to do it with such a speed to get it off her list yeah. and then to do some creative work it's it's not that she was stressed it's that's the way she liked it mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> after the further the further <clears throat> she came with exhaustion what do you expect <laughs> yes of course, it must be even in my head it would be stressful <laughs> yeah but that's the way she was operating and i had another person a man and he's like in his car driving he has like three or four businesses at the same time driving and phoning all the time of course and that's the way he likes it like mm -hmm. arranging things in his in his car with three three or four companies at the same time yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's his way of being busy yeah right yeah people can say so, i'm busy but you know there's a difference in busyness yeah this sounds literal in the literal sense of the word restless yes it's restless it's uh, a, a love of an uh, activity in almost mm -hmm. all insects it's a love for activity and yeah. it's expressed mostly in their work not uh -huh. so much in sports mostly in their work i was gonna ask how about sports with them yeah not so much in the fall of course it's activity as well they like mm -hmm. to move their body but it's in their work because they want to um in their work get some how do you say approval more yeah. than that they their self-worth very often is dependent of how they uh, uh, how they function in their work not so mm -hmm. much the result not so much the end product funnily mm -hmm. enough but it's how they work you know that they get their self esteem uh -huh. from doing their work the best they can and being the best by doing putting so much effort in it so very often they will be very good but that's not yeah. it's not a competition with somebody else although it's animal it's more like they want to be the best for themselves okay but um what i don't understand if it's not about the result how how do they know then that they are the or do they just say i want to be the best at this yes, they say i want to be the best and okay. they, they work very hard if you ask for the motivation why they work so hard they would say yeah. i want to be the best yeah okay yeah. Uh -huh. and in the animal kingdom we would expect to, that they would say being better than somebody else but that is not so much on the foreground it's not so much a competition with somebody else of course uh -huh. being the best is still animal if, if you're the best somebody else is not the best right yeah <laughs> yeah of course yes but it's not it's not so much uh jealousy or envy or trying to get the other one out of the way mm -hmm. it's like okay. by being the fastest the hardest working person you are the best mm -hmm. by, your, by your effort by your sheer effort and talents okay and they enjoy it uh -huh, yeah they won't complain about it they enjoy it mm -hmm. that's all generalizations but i mean that's yeah what i see with people eh? yeah, yeah. this effort they put in they won't complain about it that's the good thing of it sometimes the restlessness can be inside so they're not all over your place in the consultation but they will say like they have this buzzing inside <laughs> yeah. uh-huh that's very telling okay <laughs> yeah yes like inside there's this movement this small movement is something like nervousness inside but nobody can see it this drive this uh... yeah and it feels like an inner how to say like like oscillation like something yeah. inside but it's very subtle and they say i always feel this mm -hmm. But okay it doesn't necessarily show so they can make even a calm impression mm -hmm. although they are very active very speedy yeah, yeah. <coughs> sorry but it it won't show it doesn't yeah. have to show uh -huh. okay well that's already a <laughs> lot of uh, commonalities of this group mm -hmm. yeah should be not too difficult to spot them in theory <laughs> no i don't think so if you like the overall group i think it's not too hard to spot of course the problem always begins with and then what 
<laughs> exactly. Before we get to that, I mean, you already mentioned the differential diagnosis with spiders, yes. um, with birds, maybe. Um, are there other groups we can then we can mistake them for? Hmm. I don't think so. I said they might make you think about leprosy myosin. Mm -hmm. so your idea might go to lepromenium because it's if the dirt and the garbage is on the foreground and and you know the and there's shame about it, there's guilt about it. Mm -hmm. You might think in that way, but basically there are two. How do you say? They are two assertive for that. The, uh -huh. you, if they, if they feel attacked, they will get back on you. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they might feel victimized, but a lot of them are can be very angry and very nasty. Uh -huh. Yeah. So when they're cornered or they feel in, in danger, they will fight back. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And we know that from from you know the bees. Yeah, if they're in danger, they they sting. Yeah, wasp or other other insects. You know, when there's a danger, they will yeah, put the poison in you or sting or do whatever they can. Yeah? yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Even if their life is not not threatened directly. Yeah. Even so. Yeah. 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 And one more thing I wanted to uh, um, add: mm -hmm. the exhaustion, funnily enough, is mostly on the physical level, their mind is still clear. Uh -huh. So even if they're physically exhausted, they still have a, like a clear mind. Okay, so in other words, no confusion. Not often. I don't exclude it because it's never, uh, how to say, absolute. But normally mm -hmm. not, not because they're tired and they can't think and concentrate. No, normally, like their body is exhausted, and you, you, you understand why, but the mind is still clear. Yeah. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right. Um, okay, so once we figured out then that this must be an insect remedy. Yes. <laughs> uh, if we just go to our material medica, it should be easy enough to find the right remedy between these six remedies. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes, and not even, I told you, Cantaris is only the clinical picture yeah. and, and we won't find it easily because the mental picture is so extreme. You won't find or hardly find a patient, you know, running naked and pulling his genitals or what, what is in the materia <laughs> medica. It just doesn't happen much. Yeah, yeah it doesn't happen much, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, but you, you have the let's say the light versions of that so i i do have a cantaris case a woman in his in her 40s 50s and god was she shameless uh -huh. yeah but, i mean shameless in the sense that she looked like a very well dressed a bit chic woman as again the clothes are important she was a bit yeah. extravagant in that way that her clothes were chic but not in the fashion so uh -huh. that's like a very personal way and she's in the arts she does something with it with arts very often insect remedies are creative uh -huh. like to be creative and a lot of them are so she was in art she has a business there and i didn't ask for it really i don't and she was talking about her lovers Mm -hmm. With orgasms and not orgasms and and all kind of details, we re we don't really need. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and we normally don't ask for probably. Yeah, I, in this intake, I reread the case not long ago. I thought, oh my God, did she tell all that? <laughs> <laughs> so so very explicit. Yeah. explicit. It's a bit shameless. I'm her homeopath. Yeah, mm, yeah. Tell this to your friend. Well. Yeah. yeah, you might have a friend who you share all your secrets with for 20 yes. years, like, you know, girls, um, among girls, but I'm a homeopath. Yeah. Me for the first time. Yeah. That was remarkable. So it is not wrong what's in the Materia Medica, but it's the light version or the modern version, how it will express. <laughs> yeah, I see. Uh -huh. So it, there is something of, of this um, 
showing genitals eh? uh, uh, yeah. rubric that in a is, metaphoric way yes exactly that is valuable I've seen a few um, uh, what is it again in English it's this um, yeah it's a grasshopper yeah the grasshopper I was looking for the English uh, word I've seen a few cases um, a girl 14 years old and a man in his um, 30s and what they had in common and it's also in the, the very good booklet of Peter Fraser that I really can recommend it's uh -huh. the description of the Sisosterka there there's a proving uh -huh. and they both have extreme rage <laughs> extreme ah. rage uh -huh. not not just rage extreme up to the point that in the man who expressed it the, the girl didn't express it she was you know she was um, uh, how to say passive aggressive she just refused to answer you know <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> that kind. Yeah, but she's not in puberty, so what can you do? She's yeah, yeah. from your part, and she's asking questions and asks questions, and she doesn't want to answer. So she just mm -hmm. just looked at me very angry and didn't answer. Okay, up to the point that I say, "Are you still thinking?" Or because it was long silences, uh, or yeah. does you understand my question? You know? Yeah, and finally, somehow she admitted, "Like I don't answer if I don't want to." You okay. see, still being the strongest, huh? It, yeah, but the man admitted that he had such violent images that his idea was like not only destroy everything but like erase it from the planet, from the memory of history. That's his words. I mean, wow! <laughs> if you talk about total destruction, and you yeah. can say the grasshoppers, if they come with a few millions, what they leave, yeah. It's like everything is erased. Yes. Yeah. Completely destroyed. Nothing is left. The girl described it in her dreams, and he uh -huh. described it in his imagination what he would like to do with somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. So, the so they live out in some. They live out in some way this rage because I was going to ask. Yeah. How does this show? and uh, how can we tell it apart from other rages in the both of the cases it was their main complaint yeah mm -hmm. that was also significant because a lot of people An anger problem yeah and both of mm -hmm. the cases it was their main complaint yeah that that's significant because we all have a common human feelings and anger is one of them and yes. if you're very very angry then it, it's called rage you're yeah. in rage it happens but for them, it was both for them, the cases was their main complaint. And both of them had, um, what do you say, family was the most important in their life. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they might be very angry at family members. Yeah. Yet family is the most important in their life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because you, you ask yourself as a homeopath, if you're so angry with your family, why don't you just leave, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or leave them alone. Or the girl was always nagging uh, her grandmother. I thought, leave the poor woman alone. You know, <laughs> just don't visit her anymore if you're so yeah. angry at her. Yeah, but she did, and I think she was in some way very attached to her grandmother. But they were fighting all the time and criticizing and whatnot. No. So yeah. and she was a girl like not going out. The only thing she talked about in the whole consultation when she was talking was families. No friend, no school, not no other issues. Family, family, family. For a fourteen-year-old, this is this never heard of because their problems are usually in the school with the friends, with the teacher, with the boyfriend, with the body. Yeah. There, but with mother and grandmother. Huh? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Because the, the parents were very understanding, and that's not the. I mean, there was not no problem in the family as such. Yeah, yeah, and there was a, there was another grasshopper case. That was an yeah, yeah, the angry yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah. So that rage is much stronger now. When you mention this, this reminds me of this rubric for Kali. Um, desire for company of family, but treats them yeah. outrageously. Also. Yeah, but that's oh, it's as I say, it's, it's miles apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's total. It's total destruction. <laughs> Yeah, talking mm -hmm. about total destruction not irritated at family members mm -hmm. yeah it's 
the girl had dreams and the dream she like in every detail she described what happens when like this cloud of grasshoppers comes she described yeah. it in every detail how they eat everything how they destroyed everything yeah. <laughs> yeah. that fits very nicely then yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she didn't she didn't say grasshoppers she said cross this in her ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. you must remember the, because it's yeah in, i remember the case yes it's in beyond mind and body the case but but she but she describes the crowd don't do this birds yeah. don't do this mm -hmm. so i already told when uh, people have um, let's say an animal image you don't have to prescribe the animal they they name yeah but the characteristics of the animal yeah that's the most important. And what she described was no flock of birds ever destroying everything, eating people and cars and <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they came like a cloud, you know. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. Um okay. So but um it sounds like it's still a bit you have to know these things about the species, huh? It still it still sounds tricky to find the species. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's always the same. The more you know, the better. So if you have you yeah. know, an insect, <laughs> yes, it's, it's true. If you have an insect, then you have to go to Materia Medica. There's not so much in it. We have the book of Peter Fraser. We have some good proofings of damselfly. I think we have now a good proofing. We have some. We have the book, of course, of. Uh, um, of uh, about uh, butterflies uh, mm, yes yeah. there is a booklet with five or six butterflies we have a proving of nancy herrick um we have a good mosquito proving i think uh let me see if other provings we have um musca domestica so the house fly we yeah have provings, mm -hmm. which are good so I've, I've seen a few cases of a uh, house fly not too uncommon as you can expect and they mm -hmm. have this garbage thing a lot the garbage the dirt the mm -hmm. yeah if they have sex usually all the insects are you know kind of sexual and uh, desire for sex and mm -hmm. sometimes it is kind of a perverted sex mm -hmm. and mostly outspoken in the flies when it's when it's you know it's a bit kinky yeah all right yeah, yeah. <laughs> that it would be in the flies and I have a case I remember where this um, more than sensitivity, like the very ups, being upset by the smell of decaying flesh in somebody who died. Yeah, they were uh -huh. really upsetting. You know? Yeah, uh -huh. that, of course, combined with the hair and 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 mm. the bladder symptoms and yeah. all. That. But you always have the general features and then something specific. Okay. In apes, I've seen t two different pictures, whether it's a male or a female, yeah. whether it's the queen bee or it's the worker. Yeah. Two different pictures. The worker is like the worker. Everybody should do his job, you know. Yeah. 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 And the queen bee, well, it's the queen bee, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's haughty, dictatorial, etc. Yeah. And I've seen both. Yeah. In the mind and body i think there's a queen bee there's an apis case mm -hmm. yeah, my, my class is the best she was a teacher ah eh? oh, yes 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 yeah mm -hmm. of course queen perfect bee, class yeah. and also she was just like like you know she comes from a chic boutique you know from very fashionable and all made up and she's teacher in, in you know in a primary school or even i don't know in, yeah, I think six year old or something. It's not like you want to be a of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For your exactly. students, your adult students, would be different. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But it's the same remedy, right? It's the same remedy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I think that's it. What we can yeah. say about the insect group, unless you want to add something well sometimes you know the patient helps you a little bit you remember the the vespa case we did mm -hmm. well in yeah well in that case of course yeah <laughs> sometimes they do sometimes yeah. there is a very 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 strong aversion yeah for insects in general and they might name a few yeah. and in her case she named one that was good 
but she also said she had a, like a, a needle phobia. Yeah. Yeah. So even if she wouldn't have named the insect, we knew that we have to look for an insect that stings. That stings, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it makes the group much smaller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does, yeah, exactly. So sometimes they name a few characteristics of the insects they need. And that's yeah. so helpful. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, so this Friday we spoke about mm -hmm. the insect group with their representatives that we have in homeopathy with the group characteristics um, with differentials for this group yeah. and uh, how to find out the species once you know it's uh, from the insect group. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> I have a much clearer understanding now and I hope that our viewers also do. Mm -hmm, I hope so, so too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Anna. Yeah, that's my pleasure as always. And um, I see you next Friday. Okay, next Friday then. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.